tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. Hello, if you like this or not, I certainly like it. It's extremely complex. It's about half a million of polygons and I create them within, well, say 10 seconds or 20 seconds. I'll show you the process to create such a thing in this tutorial. Now you see the shading with a blind shader and now with a lambda shader. The whole texture is complex, extremely complex actually. It consists of many, many shaders. And uh, when you convert everything to uh, Lambert, it looks different. And look at the complexity here, for example, at the back. There's so many details in this turntable animation. Now this is how I created it. I did it with a 3D scanner app, it's called and I just walk around in my basement in the cellar with all the rubble here and I just move my iPad and uh, I think since the end of 2020 new iPhones have a LiDAR scanner built in and that's what I'm using here exactly it's um, the app just makes use of the LiDAR scanner it doesn't cost anything and uh, it's only one of several apps which do this thing. So just walk around, look at the objects from different angles and this is the LiDAR scanner which does their work. And this is the website of the app developers. They obviously are called LAN Labs and they are based in wherever, America, USA and I think Berlin. This is the wheel of the cart and we'll come back to this at the end of the tutorial. In the meantime, I just keep scanning here. I just keep walking around. I create a, a large video basically, which is then, now it's being saved, which is then converted into, and quite instantly converted into this polygon. and. Um, high texturing enabled because I started out with the high texturing profile. Now I saved it as an OBJ file and the OBJ file I can just drag and drop it into the Maya scene. Uh, it lands there with the texture but the texture is really tricky because the because you have to well put a lot of effort into it to get glossiness in some parts and uh, unglossiness in other parts now it's in Maya and it looks basically the same as before but now we can start manipulating things the typical thing would be this bread which I baked it's a wheat sourdough bread with sesame on top and I'm doing the same process now with the bread but with the low polygon settings the low resolution settings I just walk around the bread I give the you see the polygons are pretty crude now and I give the app enough time to scan the rest it's saving and it's texturing and now the whole thing looks quite odd because it picked up pieces in my kitchen which are far away which I didn't want the scanner to actually see and the bread is somewhere in the middle and since it's such a crude resolution the texturing is quite okay but um, the polygons are quite messy I mean this is the low poly resolution whereas in the cellar I use the high poly resolution but you can calculate distances for example 13 centimeters wide now in this example I'm back to the cellar and I deleted all the faces of the 
polygon structure which are on top. I just used the base texture and I imported this man and made him sit there on this ground. And you see that the texture is very rich. When I render it with single light, it looks quite amazing already. And I just created this texture on the fly using my LiDAR scanner app. Same texture as a background. And a couple of renderings. All done so simply with a LiDAR scan, which actually took me a minute, I guess, yeah. But here I threw away most of the polygons anyway. This is a rendering with a special light. And this is quite interesting because it gives us the miniature feeling because I used depth of field here. I think it's an excellent image. Now let's look at the wheelbarrow. Du Lun Che in Chinese, in Mandarin. You can see it's right here and it was not captured fully, but you can use it now for as a reference. You delete all the rest and uh, then you model that cartwheel. It consists, in, in my case, of one NURBS torus and a polygon box and two extruded NURBS surfaces. The LiDAR scanner is an amazing tool and it cost tens of thousands of euro in the past because it was mainly used for automatic driving, detecting the neighborhood of a car. The LiDAR scanner is very fast doing these things, as you could see now with this built-in LiDAR scanner in the iPad. Up here is the LiDAR scanner on the very top. Below that are ordinary cameras. Very expensive and quite big. And it looks all around. That makes it more expensive, I guess. Well, folks, I wish you a very nice day. And if you don't have a LiDAR scanner in your phone, ask someone who has one in the phone. They have to do with augmented reality. That means they mix reality with something else. <laughs>